Kimberly Brunson co-authors Default Industry Leaders Book Foreclosure Tales debuts at number one bestseller on Amazon for real estate sales and selling. Kimberly Brunson co-authors best-selling Foreclosure Tales, A Day in the Life of a REO Broker. The book is designed to be both educational and entertaining with real stories and adventures from each of the authors. Kimberly Brunson is co-author of Default Industry Leaders' first edutainment book about foreclosures and the real estate-owned REO industry and earned the ranking of number one bestseller and number one hot new release upon its debut in multiple categories including real estate sales and selling, economics development and growth, economics urban and regional, and econometrics. Default Industry Leaders' authors in order of chapters include Kristen Condy, Lana cook Dietro, Allison Silverman, Kimberly Brunson, Tammy Seymour, Jennifer Patnode, Louis Fontaine, and Brandy Nelson. Brunson contributed her chapter How to Win Friends and Influence Foreclosured Home Buyers in Today's Marketplace to the project. Kimberly Brunson is joined by co-authors Kristen Conti, Lana cook Dietro, Allison Silverman, Tammy Seymour, Jennifer Patnode, Louis Fontaine, and Brandy Nelson. Foreclosure Tales, A Day in the Life of a REO Broker is designed to be both educational and entertaining with real stories and adventures from each of the authors. The entertainment chapters in order of appearance include Hurry Up and Wait by Kristen Conti, Hoarding, Haunting and Dead Man Walking by Lana Cook Dietro, Nine Cops Guns Drawn, Eight Chickens A Laying, Two Evictions and a Partridge in a Pear Tree by Allison Silverman, how to Win Friends and Influence Foreclosured Home Buyers in Today's Marketplace by Kimberly Brunson. Tales of the Wild by Tammy Seymour and Jennifer Patnode. Someone Has to Clean Up the Mess by Louis Fontaine. And Challenge Accepted by Brandy Nelson. The educational chapters include market updates for each location represented by the authors, client testimonials, and a glossary of default industry real estate terms. About Kimberly Brunson. Kimberly Brunson, principal broker slash owner of Hunter Real Estate acquired her Kentucky Real Estate Sales Associate License in 1998, her Kentucky Broker's License in 2001, and her Florida Broker's License in 2018. From the founding of Hunter Real Estate in 2001, Kimberly focused her attention on the effective marketing, listing, and disposition of foreclosed residential properties in the central Kentucky area. Kimberly works diligently to remove the stigma of these less-than-perfect homes and puts as much effort into marketing the unique appeal of each home as an agent or broker would a more typical listing. Kimberly's marketing approach has earned her listings with Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae Virginia, USDA, and HUD in addition to numerous national and international lenders. Kimberly and her husband John divide their time between their home in Lexington, Kentucky, and Panama City Beach, Florida. State of the Market Central Kentucky and Florida Panhandle Areas I am the principal broker of Hunter Real Estate, said Brunson. My main area of focus is Central Kentucky. I also have my Florida broker's license and have experience in the Panhandle area specifically Panama City Beach, Florida. Brunson added that the market in Central Kentucky remains stable with modest growth in most areas. I expect to see a slowdown in new home construction as building prices explode. There are more properties on the market now than earlier in the year. These homes are taking longer to put under contract and potentially close depending on the interest rates. Rising inflation created by everyday supplies along with utilities is hurting purchasing power. The rising price of gasoline and now interest rates are making it difficult for first-time home buyers who want to purchase or for second-home purchasers who want to move up, she said. Interest rates have affected the market. With rising interest rates, I expect a slowdown for the next few years. Variable rate interest loans that offer a lower introductory rate could come back into the market and cause home buyers to have difficulty maintaining their future home payments, she said. I've been working with bank-owned homes, short sales, and deed in lieu of foreclosure for more than 25 years. About Default Industry Leaders Default Industry Leaders is a non-profit organization. Any proceeds from this book will be donated to charitable causes. The purpose of the group is to support other REO brokers to open the doors to newer agents who may wish to break into the default segment of the market, but have been denied access and to market default industry leaders effectively to potential clients and the buying public. Features and Benefits of Dill for Professionals Nationwide networking with the most experienced REO slash default realtors at all conferences, gatherings, and events. 
Several proprietary in-house networking events give you a chance to interact with REO vendors and decision makers. Exposure to our agent directory, which can also help your online SEO presence. Interaction with REO slash default leaders on our website and Facebook group. Our website and Facebook page will give you the ability to stay on top of all breaking news related to REO slash default. Help contribute to our many charitable causes to feed the hungry, help women's shelters, donate to disaster-stricken areas, and take care of our soldiers. Learn more about default industry leaders.